Guys, what's going on? Your boy Amar here. We're doing another tire topic today. Not a review per se, but a topic. So today's topic is going to be brand name tires versus no name tires. What is the difference? Why should I buy them? And all these questions being answered today. So right off the bat here, we've got four Firestone Winter Force tires, okay? Firestone, brand name tire. We've got four Infinity Snow tires here. And we've got four Salem Ice Blazer tires here. First tire, Firestone, American company, but made overseas, and Infinity and Salen, both made in China. Now, Amar, I get asked all the time, right off the bat, should I buy brand name? Should I buy no name? Now, this is fact, this, this topic I'm gonna talk about has facts, and it has personal facts. Personal facts, let's get that out the way. Budget, are you on a budget? Can you afford brand name tires? Can you afford no name tires? This Firestone tire here, for example, is gonna cost $140. This tire here, Infinity uh, Chinese tire, is going to cost you $106. Salen's going to cost you $100. Now, that's the biggest thing that drives everything in life is price. Now, quality. Every single tire has to meet Transport Canada's safety rules and regulations. Okay? So right off the bat, every, every tire here is certified to be on the road driven in Ontario. Okay? Now, Amar, 40 bucks difference. Now, are these companies putting $40 worth of less material and safety in these tires? Or is this company putting more in? Well, every single tire here is up at quality and at par, and I sell every single tire, and I can sleep well at night telling you that I'm comfortable selling this $140 Firestone, this $106 Infinity, and this $100 Salem Ice Blazer. So no doubt in my mind, I can sell you any tire, and I will feel confident that I'm giving my customer a good product. Now, brand name tires, what you're gonna find is every brand name tire is 25 to 40 per 35 percent more than any no name tire because you're paying for branding. You're paying for these big corporations. You're paying for those big plate glass windows on those high rise towers in the USA where a guy's sitting on his ass in an office looking out the window, all right, flying on Learjets to different manufacturers. So you're paying that 35, 40 percent. Where you have a Chinese tire here which a tire distributor here in Canada goes first class, he goes to the Chinese tire factory, they send one guy, and that one guy goes to Infinity and says, hey listen, I need 50,000 of these tires pumped out, can you do it, what's my price? If not, I'm gonna go see Mr. Salen here at the Qingdao, Qingdao, whatever Chinese tire rubber company in China, okay? So quality's all the same, Chinese are putting on great tires. Now you gotta make sure, you gotta see what fits your budget. Now, I always recommend, don't go for the cheapest. You can go for the best, the best is always best, but you can always go mid-grade. But that being said, brand name tires do have more, some more technology and a little bit more craft, not better craftsmanship, but more technology built into the tires and these tires than these ones. Now, you're looking at these tires and say, Amar, this tire and this tire look the same. Actually, this tire looks better because it's got a better tread pattern. Well guys, Bridgestone owns Firestone, so they have put that Bridgestone technology into these tires, where Infinity is Infinity itself. So, now Amar, you said a lot of stuff in three and a half minutes. Now, what should I do? Should, which one should I buy? Okay, listen, I got 500 bucks from my grandma for my birthday, which tire should I buy? Well, you know what, like I said, it comes down to a personal topic. But if you can afford the $140 tire plus tax, I say you go for it. But if you can't, there's nothing wrong with these $106 tires, they're safe. They're winter certified. They got that same snowflake stamped in there. It's a sip of coffee, sorry, as these Firestones. So like I said, you gotta make sure which one suits your needs. Now, also another thing to keep in mind, is the vehicle you're driving worth putting on these $140 tires? You may have a used car that you wanna dump, get rid of, trade in, or get rid of this year. So do you wanna put these $140 tires on? Or do you want to put a $100 tire on and blow that car out the door and run it to the auction? So that's something a lot of people do. Are you a repair shop? Are you a garage? Are you a used car dealer? Are you just a cheap guy? And you want to, or, you don't want, or you want to give a cheap tire to your kids or some putting on? And those are completely, perfectly fine reasons to buy cheaper tires that are still safe and that will still perform and still handle as good as this tire. Now, sorry I'm moving the camera around a lot because I'm getting excited when I talk about tires. So that's something that you got to, you got to memorize and you got to know that major tire companies and wheel companies, you're paying that 25, 30% strictly for branding. I remember hand cooked tires 10 years ago. Hand cooked was like one lead tires. You said hand cooked, the guy would throw the tire at your face. Now hand cooked has stepped up their game. 
Hankook in Korea borrowed a couple million bucks from his uncle and went to the NHL and said to Mr. NHL Gary Bettman, that bobblehead idiot, Sir, I'm going to pay you $1 million cash. You put Hankook everywhere on the boards, on your commercials, on your pamphlets, on your tickets, on your stickers. The Hankook to be the official tire of the NHL. Where the NHL don't know no jack about tires, but you're paying for that branding. So that one to two million dollars worth of advertising, they give the NHL every year. They're gonna build that price into every tire, 25, 30%, which may only cost them 15%, but they're gonna be given, make an extra 15% off you. Now I'm not talking smack because I'm an authorized dealer for every single tire company out there. And they may be watching and say, look at this guy, this guy's a jerk. He's freaking talking about us. We're, he's selling our tires, we're gonna shut him down. No, it's not gonna work that way because I'm gonna give my customers here the unbiased opinion that's been stand and tested why Rimlines has been in business so long because I'm telling you the facts. Because I've been to these tire companies. I've been to these big meetings. I've talked to them. I've talked to Mr. Hancock himself. We're good friends. We shoot the shit. We have cigars. We drink coffee. And he's okay with that. He's like, Amar, you tell the people what you want to tell them because they're going to listen to you. They're not going to listen to Hancock. You think a Hancock guy came down here and started talking with his Hancock t-shirt on, people are going to believe him. People are going to say, this guy is full of crap. He's just trying to push his product. So you got to do what fits your needs best. And today's topic, like I said, brand name tires versus no name tires. Which one should I buy, Amar? I think I answered all your guys' questions. If you have any questions, comment below. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Hilliard Drimlines or my personal account, Amar Sierra. Baby, this is, we're pushing seven minutes. I know I ranted on, but I like to cover every aspect of every part of this tire video. Thanks for watching, baby. You know what time it is.